G'day, I'm Nick Bowditch. Um, today I want to talk about PTSD. And, um, yeah, obviously I'm having a bit of a rough time at the moment. And, um, because of it. And I, we just don't understand it enough. And I, I think, um, I think I can play a bit of a role in helping people to understand it a bit more, which might help other people as well. Um, my PTSD is related to trauma as a child where I was um, abused for a period of three years by someone outside of my family who um, physically and sexually and most impactfully emotionally tortured me for a few years and um, And I still live, I, I live it every day. I relive it every day. And uh, I was talking to a friend of mine last week, we were talking about the PTSD and how I'm struggling a bit at the moment with it. And he said to me, you know, you should just try to just stop thinking about it and just focus on the good things in my life and focus on the future, stop dwelling on the past. You know, it, it just doesn't work that way. It doesn't, it's this invisible thing. It's this insidious, invisible thing in my head. And it never goes away. You know, and I can be triggered into it through sounds or music that's playing or smells or words. And, and more and more seen in media and comedians and people talking about people being triggered as if you know they're pathetic or they're soft or they're weak um, or, you know it's a delicate snowflake don't don't trigger him you know like, do I look like a delicate snowflake but but I but I live but I live with that trauma my trauma was 33 years ago come up 33 years ago with it in my head and when I hear those sounds or smells or when I'm feeling this way it's like it was this morning just over 1 million people in Australia live with PTSD every single day a million people so there's a good chance that you know someone does and because it's such this this invisible insidious thing that's so shameful and we don't talk about it you would probably never know they might give you little signals here and there and and, and you might wonder what to do if they do and there's just three things I reckon that, that, are, that are worthwhile remembering for somebody if somebody talks to you about their trauma that they can't seem to get over and the first one is just just to listen. Just listen without shaming them, without without trying to fix it. Just listen. And then the second thing is don't abandon them. You know, a lot of uh, a lot of my trauma is because of this fear of abandonment and um, don't abandon them. And then the third thing is just be kind. Just be kind. You know, I feel really vulnerable making this video, and uh, but I think it's important. We should talk about it. I think, you know, I have a position where I might be able to make people change their minds about things. And, and if nothing else, if you're watching this and you are like me and can't can't get over something, despite people telling you to get over it. And I see you, I understand, you're not alone. You're not alone, I won't abandon you. I know what it's like. Yeah. This is what anxiety looks like. what shame looks like. This is 
is what PTSD looks like. You never know what's going on for someone. 